They've landed in Sydney this morning. Now, this group of 17 people, four women and their 13 children, were taken from the Syrian in internally displaced persons camp on Thursday afternoon. Now, these women and their children are the family members of Islamic State fighters. Many of the women say that they were forced or tricked into going to Syria by their, um, by their family members. And they have been in these camps since Islamic State fell in Syria in 2019 in squalid conditions that the United Nations earlier this year said were akin to torture. So there are still about 40 other Australian women and their children in the camps, but the 17 that have come home today were assessed by Australian authorities as the most vulnerable um, and, and in need of coming home first. So what happens next? Well, so they've landed in Australia. We understand that um, they have seen some family in some cases, but of course there would be uh, checks that now have to happen, both health and otherwise. Now, uh, the Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill has put out a statement. She says the decision was made based on national security, considering the range of community welfare and security factors. Um, they said it was informed by individual assessments following detailed work by national security agencies. Now, she has gone on to say that any allegations of unlawful activity will continue to be investigated by the New South Wales Police and Federal Police, as well as ASIO, um, and that there is extensive support services being provided by the New South Wales government to these women and their children. Has there been much reaction from the arrival? There has been quite a bit of reaction already. Now, uh, we have heard from one of the, the mayors in uh, West in Sydney today who's raised some concerns for local refugee communities over fears that they may have. But we've also heard very positive feedback from um, uh, human rights groups. Human Rights Watch has put out a statement this morning welcoming the move, as have Save the Children. Save the Children's been advocating for the return of these children in particular for some time. So their CEO, Matt Tinkler, has said that these children can now leave the horrors of war behind them, focus on their recovery and look forward forward to a childhood free from fear and violence at home in Australia. And the women who've been repatriated have released a statement. In part, it reads, we are deeply thankful to be back home in Australia with our children. We appreciate the complexity and significant work it has taken for many people, including the Australian government, to bring us home. We want to express our regret for the trouble and hurt we have caused, especially to our families. We are willing to do whatever is asked of us by government authorities to ensure the safety of our families and the Australian community. We are beyond relieved that our children are now safe in Australia. The father of one of the women is pleased to finally welcome his daughter home and says while the next steps are unclear, all security processes will be followed. Clearly in Mariam's uh, journey and been very public about this, you know, she was coerced into Syria. That was the position the government had told me about that's been on the public record. Uh, everything she's been done has been done for the safety of her children and herself. So, you know, if she needs to explain that, she'll explain that. But, uh, but, but yeah, so that's, 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 that's the situation that, that she's in. Um, generally, we're not, we're not overly, I'm not overly concerned with her story. We'll, we'll see if there's anything that's unknown that comes out. Everyone's in a joyous mood, um, so everyone's at the moment in a really a great space. But there are some health conditions that we know that a couple of children have some serious health issues, uh, so we want to get them checked out as soon as possible. But, but right now it's really hard to judge because everyone's in such, such a great mood and, and, it's, and it's hard to, to see those underlying issues at, at, at this point in time. My daughter, as all the women that went, you know, the men went and took the women with them. Um, the men are either died or in jail and the women were then left and caught behind. There's no evidence to say that my daughter joined any uh, such organisation um, and, and that's, that's, not, that's certainly my understanding and in private conversations I had with law enforcement, that's their understanding as well. But, uh, but, but, but time will tell if anything different comes up, but, but clearly, no, they, these, these women aren't, uh, 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 to my knowledge, uh, aren't a concern or a threat to Australia at all.